would like to know what some of you want to do when you grow up. I want to be a teacher. You want to be a teacher. What do you want to be? Uh, I'm going to be a football player. I want to be a fan. Be a, I'm a cheerleader, I'm a, a grandma, I'm a, teacher. a cowgirl. The kindergarten class at Wounded Knee School. They are learning their own language, Lakota, something that was prohibited for Indian children in schools until 1978, when a law made it possible. So much culture suppressed. While Hollywood movies gave us cowboys and Indians with Indians as parodies. In fact, it surprised me to learn that one thing from the movies was true. How do you say hello in Lakota? How? Duh. How? <laughs> How? <laughs> okay, so if I said to all of you, Inpatanawajin Nasina Siko. Tell me how. It's a song that says, come back home. It is also hard to believe that as recently as the 1940s, Lakota children like these were still being taken away from their homes and westernized. Clothes changed, hair cut. The stated philosophy, kill the Indian, save the man. I don't think anybody in the Indian world doesn't want their child to be educated, but whether or not that entails going to a Western form of school is a whole different conversation. Heather Thompson, a Lakota from a neighboring reservation, graduated from Harvard Law. But can you succeed in this world without a Western form of education? You can't succeed in this world unless you know who you are. But can't you do the two simultaneously? Can't That's you? what many tribes are trying to do now. And the new leaders are also trying to teach something else, resilience. A lot of these kids think failure is, that's it. We all fail, and it's okay. And fail, fail, fail. Without failure, there's no success. Jason Braveheart, a former Marine who is trying to motivate a new generation of entrepreneurs. Is there a generational spring awakening about to take place? Crazy Horse and Sitting Bull, you know, they fought for us kids, and they fought tooth and nail to preserve our culture. And now, today, you got modern-day warriors out there. And I'm Vicki Sunshine. Like the high school student who calls herself Vicki Sunshine when playing a network reporter in a school project. In life, she is an 18-year-old senior named Elena, who is cheerleader, actor, singer, too. She even has an ambition to be the first Lakota to get on American Idol. Ladies and gentlemen, Elena Clifford. Yeah. Elena also has a boyfriend who is a star, one of only 600 students selected to go to Red Cloud Indian School, the golden opportunity on the reservation. The only school funded by outside donors, 90% of the kids here go to college. Elena's boyfriend is going to go using the Gates scholarship he won. And Elena also has a champion in her mother, Julie, who once thought she too would travel the world, but then got pregnant. Elena's always said this, I don't want to have kids. I'm going to be a singer. I'm going to be a star. But then, a shock. Elena and her boyfriend had been dating for three months when she found out she was pregnant. She says they used protection. It didn't work. They had to break the news to mom. Oh, crap. Right at first, after the numbness wore off and the reality was setting in that she... She cried and she was like, I have to give up everything. And I basically said, have all your feelings now, but once that baby's born, don't you ever make your baby feel like that, that he or she's the reason your life has changed. He's here. He's here. Payson Tanner Sierra, seven pounds, nine ounces. My dear little child playing the Three months later, I see them all. 
Technically just his belly. Oh, is that better? Yeah, is that better? <laughs> By now, Elena and her boyfriend have gotten married, but she is buckling a bit under the enormous change in her life raising a child. She tells me five or six of her friends are also pregnant. In this part of the world where teen birth rates are three times the national average, half of her class has simply dropped out. But Elena is not the kind of girl who gives up, and she's determined she is going to be different. So take a look at Elena and baby Payson at her high school graduation. And then she decides she's going to try out for American Idol after all. Good luck today. We watch her wait in line. I like your hair. Thank you. And with so many kids who grew up in big cities and suburbs. I come from Pine Ranch Reservation that's in South Dakota. She practices her audition song, I'm Going Down, by Mary J. Blige. I'm going down. But then comes back and tells us. I didn't make it. I'm kind of sad. When I walked out, I was like trying not to cry. <laughs> I wanted it so bad. Her young husband walks her away. Elena down, but she says not out. I guess that's showbiz. <laughs> she is one of the new generation of Lakota. No American Idol, but still no shortage of dreams.